These are five to ten of my biggest turnoffs. Sunny Daniel and the Chances. What's up everybody? We're gonna be doing a lot of vlogging in the summer, man. A lot of vlogging in the summer, so make sure y'all subscribe and turn them bell notifications on. Today, we gonna go down some of the biggest turnoffs. Since I made a video of the five things I find attractive, these are five things I don't like. It might be 10. Number one, shallow. Very shallow people, man. Materialistic. Only care about little surface shallow stuff. Gotta have this kind of car. Gotta have these kind of clothes. Everything is super shallow, super surface. I don't like shallow people, man. I don't like being around shallow people their shallowness will rub off on you and next thing you know you'll be thinking like that too number two lazy i cannot stand somebody that's just lazy bro like sitting around doing nothing have no ambition i'm so full of ambition i got so many things that i want to do i can't be around people that have no ambition it, it rubs off on you if you got anybody around you that's like pulling you down and maybe not pulling you down but just not supporting you man say you want to be a musician and then your homies keep knocking you keep knocking your hustle like that kind of person you need to get that kind of person out your life ASAP, bro. And I'm not saying you ain't gotta be homies, but just know where he's staying. He don't wanna see you winning. And you don't need nobody in your circle that don't wanna see you winning. Female, male, whatever. Like, you don't need that in your circle. Number three, a weak, gullible person. I can't stand when girls just like fall for whack game. Like, it's just like, I don't know, it's like a weak thing to me. Like, a big turn on for me is getting a girl that nobody else can get. Just because I like girls that are a lot deeper. I don't like a, a girl that's easy to get. I don't like a girl that is the small requirements for you to be able to get with her like I don't like that I like it to be like I like a girl to have really high standards it shows that she knows her worth you know what I'm saying like being jealous man that's another major one that's not something that I can deal with man because at the end of the day you got to know you with somebody that is wanted by a lot of other people if you holding it down you ain't got nothing to worry about now if you ain't holding it down then you might have something to worry about you can't be with me if you're gonna be tripping out on Instagram or tripping out or, uh, I I looked at a girl that was in the mall or something st that kind of stupid stuff man like I can't deal with that I just can't deal with it because they coming from a place of insecurity and you know how I feel about insecurities I, I, I told y'all before man you can't have insecurities because they will ruin your whole being you know what I'm saying they will ruin relationships it'll ruin friendships it'll ruin your life being insecure so I can't be with no insecure jealous type girl that's insecure about herself like that now if it's something small nothing big yeah but when it's major insecurities like that avoid it man avoid it um another one man if you if we talk and say we talking on instagram we talking on snapchat and then all of a sudden you just go ghost like i don't hear from you for days weeks there's a certain balance of playing hard to get right a couple days go by a day go by you build up a little you know you build up a little i miss you kind of stuff it's all good but you know you go on a week two weeks not replying and you replying like one or two lines on the text or something like that and it's a week time that kind of stuff man that's a big turn off for me man that's a big turn off for me because i feel like i'm not that important Important. Like, if I'm not that important to you where you can't keep up with talking to me at least every couple days, a decent conversation, then what, what are we doing? They're not missing your call. They're not forgetting to text you back. They're not too busy. They're just not interested. A big one. This is a big one, man. Girls that can't keep calm and they lose their cool, man. This irritates the hell out of me. And it's not just girls. It's dudes. It's, it's everything. Animals. I can't stand when somebody loses their cool and they're not, they're not level-headed. They're hot-headed. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand that hot-headedness i can't stand that that complaining all the time if something don't go your way then you know it's like oh man the whole world is ending i hate that bro i hate that and the reason that i hate that so much is because i'm such an optimistic person when something bad happens to me or something happens to me or around me i try not to look at the negative in the situation of course the situation is negative but i try to look at the optimistic part of it like i mean a lot of bad stuff has happened to me around me to my family and so like that but a lot of good things has happened around me to my family and all of that stuff a lot of good times has happened i just like to look at the more positive side of things i don't like to be dwelling on the negative i can't stand when a person does that man so like say like say you live up north you know you got the snow got heavy snow up here cleveland every time it's snow you just complaining whining complaining complaining about the snow about the weather about the cold about the ice it's just always complaining and it's just like shut the hell up like it's snow it's all good 
good. Like, relax. It's cool. It's fun. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it's still, it's cool. Like, why are you tripping on snow? You know what I mean? It's bigger things to worry about. And that goes back to, like, you know, when I was telling y'all in a couple Q&As ago, when, you know, you lose people close to you due to death or illness, it really makes you stop looking at little petty stuff that you might have would have got irritated about and start really looking at the bigger picture in life, which is way bigger than something that's inconveniencing you for a couple minutes or a couple days. Just keep that in mind, man. Don't be don't be so pessimistic about little stuff. There's a whole bunch of examples, but that is a big turnoff for me. I like to be around positive females that's, that's uplifting, that's very motivating to me because I'm like a, my soul can be like a sponge sometimes. And saying that, it's like, if I'm around a negative person, it's like my spirit just kind of feels that negativity. I try to fix it. I try to help it. What ends up happening is that I end up getting fatigued from trying to help somebody else's soul out that my own soul takes a hit for. And I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So I like to be around positive people, motivating people, happy people, spiritual people, you know, level-headed people. They really just make your soul feel good, man. They make your spirit feel good. They uplift you. They make you feel like you're doing something good. Stuff like that. Actually, I, I watched this one dude, Big Hurt, and he was saying if your partner, your mate, doesn't ask about your day and doesn't ask how stuff was going, is that really your partner? I might throw a little clip in. Shout out to Big Hurt. When you feel like, you know, you need somebody to talk to, she's going to know because she's going to ask you how your day went. And she's not going to talk about herself all day, every day. She's not going to be overly concerned with how many likes she got on her selfie, you know, or how many potty lit pictures she can produce a day. She's going to be asking how you're doing. And people around you need to be good, uplifting people. It don't matter. You don't always have to be talking to somebody all the time to know that it's love and support and it's loyalty. You know what I mean? I don't know how many this is. I hope it's 10. But yeah, man, I just like to sit down and talk to y'all. Sometimes I'll be all over the place, but I like to sit down and talk to y'all and really, you know, engage with y'all. So post in the comments five things that are turnoffs for you. Female, male, it don't matter. Five things that are turn off for you, that are a deal breaker for you. Post them in the comments right now because I want to see what y'all are saying. I might do a follow-up video. But thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for showing love on all the new type of videos, man. I see y'all, man. I try to like everybody's comments. I see y'all for real. And it just means a lot to me, man, that y'all really support me in almost every single thing that I put up because I'm breaking off into another, you know, another avenue on YouTube. Even though I'm still going to do some games, man. I might play that Far Cry Until Dawn. Shout out to King Los on Instagram. He wanted to play with me, so I might play with him. Uh, I might get on that Resident Evil 2, the remake, and I want to get back on The Sims a little bit. Maybe I'll wait till maybe the summertime for that, but that's coming back. And then uh, Fortnite. I was in Fortnite Creative, and I made this mansion, man. I got to show y'all. I ain't going to spoil it. I definitely got some Fortnite videos coming soon. Maybe a What's In My Locker video, that type of stuff. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. Let me see you dance I love to watch you